So hyaluronic acid is a naturally occurring substance in the body and we find it predominantly within the joints and it helps to lubricate and maintain the flexibility of tissue and is also involved in the nutrition of the joint as well. Hyaluronic acid injections have actually been used for decades and they've been found to be really useful to be used for painful degenerative joints such as osteoarthritis of the knee, but we also use it in a number of different joints around the body. Because hyaluronic acid is a uh, naturally occurring and nourishing substance within our tissues, actually you can repeat it for a long period of time and you can really repeat it as and when required by the patient and many patients find it a very good long-term treatment when they have pain which is resulting from degenerative changes within a joint. So hyaluronic acid I find works best when somebody has what I would call a sort of like a dry arthritis. So they have like an achy joint that doesn't have too much in the way of um, acute inflammation, so not too much redness and not too much swelling. So the typical patient that benefits from this is your middle-aged runner with osteoarthritis of the knee. We see also lots of patients who have pain at the base of the thumb um, from overuse type uh, issues. Um, but it can be used in any joint which is showing signs of early osteoarthritis. This might be from wear and tear overuse or it might be secondary to an injury that the person has had and they are starting to develop early or advanced osteoarthritis within that joint. They're much too young to be thinking about a joint fusion or a joint replacement, but this offers them a viable alternative in combination with exercise to help manage this situation. So the great thing about hyaluronic acid is when people find it useful, it does have a very long lasting effect. So we would look to use these maybe once every six months or even a year they can give relief for. The good thing about them is because they have no known negative impacts upon the tissues or on the body at all, they can actually be repeated for as long as the patient finds them to be helpful. So if we've got a patient who has early osteoarthritic changes in their knee, for example, and they're too young for a knee joint replacement, this can be a really good alternative for them to help manage their symptoms alongside obviously a exercise and general management program.